so this is going to be a short video about linear momentum. So the equation for linear momentum is P is equal to M times V, where P is momentum, M is our mass, and then V is the velocity. Now you can see the little um, arrows above both momentum and velocity. That just tells us that those are both vectors, okay? Um, also, don't know exactly why they use P for momentum. I guess M was already taken for mass, so they just needed something else to use. Um, so linear momentum, we can kind of think of this as like a mass in motion, or sometimes, sometimes people say inertia in motion. Um, you might have heard this term before, you know, like a sports caster saying, oh, they've got a lot of momentum, you know, the someone's running down the field and they have a lot of momentum or a certain team is winning a lot and they have a lot of momentum. So you've heard this term before and you know that it kind of means velocity. So it's when we have a mass and we have a velocity, just mass times velocity. Now linear in linear momentum is often dropped. Um, we, so we just call this momentum. This linear in terms of your book and in terms of just linear momentum in general, um, it's just distinguishing between just uh, our momentum of something that's moving in a certain direction, like a straight direction, and our angular momentum. And angular momentum we will cover when we talk about rotation. So we also have, when something's rotating, we also have a momentum, and that's called an angular momentum. But we'll cover that in chapter 11. So because mass is a scalar, and I, like I said, momentum and velocity are vectors, that means whatever direction the velocity vector is in, that will be the same direction as the momentum vector. So when we have a system of particles, that's what that says there, um, linear momentum for a system of particles, um, we can get the total linear momentum, which is a capital P of the system, and that's defined to be a vector sum of the individual particles linear momenta. Um, so basically all we do is we add up the momentum of every single particle in that system. Now this might look a little familiar from the beginning of this chapter, mass times velocity, one plus mass times velocity two plus mass times velocity three. You might remember that if we're going to find the velocity of the center of, of mass, um, then all we have to do is just divide this whole thing by big M, the total mass of the system, in order to find the velocity of the center of mass. So if you multiply both sides of this by big M in order to just get that M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3 and so on and so forth by itself, which is our linear momentum for the system of particles, then all you get is this. So your momentum for the system of particles will just be equal to big M times the velocity of the center of mass. And that's pretty self-explanatory.